Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you guys can see by the title, it is going to be an update on my Crested Gecko Bodie. I asked on my Instagram what video you guys wanted to see from me and someone asked for me to do an update on Bodie and I haven't showed him in a good minute. So I thought that today's video should be a video on him updating and showing you guys him. Also, yes, Big Kitty is on top of Koa's enclosure back here. I've got her down twice getting ready to film and she's jumped back up there. She is very naughty. She does what she wants. So I'm just gonna let her stay up there since she really doesn't bother or anything so you'll probably see her walking around up there while I'm filming so I posted on Instagram yesterday updating you guys about the farm situation and I asked what video you guys wanted me to film since I was due to put a video up for this weekend and someone asked for me to do an update on Bodie and to explain to you guys how he's doing if he's still aggressive if he is calmed down if I can hold him and also show him and things like that so I thought that I would film this little update video for you guys today as far as an update on how he's doing goes he is honestly not doing any different really um, I have been trying a couple of things different just to try and see if I can get him out of this aggressive state But he is still extremely aggressive You guys know I've done a video in the past showing how aggressive he is and showing how he will kind of attack anything that is near the glass If it's my hands, especially he really loves biting my fingers. He can draw blood. It's super painful Obviously, I still love him, but he is definitely an aggressive little gecko So many people have asked me what changed like what happened? What did you do different? I'm like I literally did nothing different nothing changed except for a year ago it did go into like I guess mating season for male crested geckos and so I thought that it was just like a hormone thing that would swing due to the season like a lot of reptiles do but he never came out of it so even whenever the hormone season was over he just stayed aggressive and he never changed and I moved his tank around people told me to add more cork bark for him to go in more hiding places I added more leaves I changed his diet a little bit I added more more bugs as opposed to just the Pangea. I tried different foods, but for some reason he has just stayed aggressive and and you know when I rescued him if some of you haven't seen that video there's many of you who probably haven't I can link it on the screen but basically whenever I rescued him the reason that he was available for adoption was because he was aggressive and he was lunging and biting the people who had him before but I thought that it was just because their enclosure was so terrible So is this, that's all you have is just the log and the thermometer? Point? Yeah, we're, we used to have, um, there were the cedar chip logs in there and all that. And I had some fake plants and everything and they were just getting kind of worn down when I went to clean the tank out. So I just tossed everything with in, <coughs> intentions of getting new stuff and never did. Okay. Honestly, I'm just speechless. Whenever I rescued Bodie, he was being kept in a 40 gallon breeder, which you guys know is completely inappropriate for a crusty gecko. There was paper towel, some pellets for food. There was no water dish. There was one little bitty like half log, kind of like the one I used for my hermit crabs. And that was it. There was nothing else in that enclosure. And I even showed the footage of it in the video where I rescued him. Again, I'll link that on the corner of the screen if you guys want to watch, but that was basically it. Like there was nothing else. So I knew that he was probably really stressed, really restless. I'm sure he wasn't handled a lot. And then his enclosure was completely inadequate. So I thought maybe that I could turn it around. And once he had a good enclosure, maybe he wouldn't be so aggressive. And then it worked. And then for the first year I had him, he was so kind, so sweet. You guys have seen all the footage of how nice he was. And then something changed and he just went crazy and he has been aggressive ever since. So unfortunately that has not eased up at all. However, I have been trying to channel that aggression. I've actually been giving him crickets a lot more recently. I've been giving them to him every week because I do keep crickets in my cricket container for lemon anyway, so I do have them. I have been feeding him two to three crickets every few days because again, I do have them and he really seems to be liking them and he definitely takes out his aggression. I actually tried to film feeding him the crickets for you guys. It's not the greatest footage ever, I apologize. I had the flash on and also I was trying to like feed him with the tongs but also make sure that he couldn't jump out the glass because the door was open on his exoterra. So it was really hard to get that footage, I apologize. But I did try to film that for you guys to show you guys that he is really loving the crickets. He definitely takes out his aggression. He shakes them like a little alligator and then he makes them squirt which is disgusting and ew, it, 
yeah, it's like a whole thing, but he has been channeling a lot of his aggression out on the bugs, so I guess that's good. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Um, but he still obviously likes to channel it at me anytime he gets the chance. Cage cleanings are really hard still. Feeding him and spraying his enclosure down every night is really hard, um, but I do want to get him out and show him to you guys because I said that I would, so I went on and I got my rag, so I'm going to get him out because you guys haven't seen him and Honestly, if I thought that getting him out like really stressed him out and like was making him more aggressive or something I wouldn't touch him at all, which I never do. I don't unless I'm filming it um, But I don't think he's stressed. I think he's literally just straight aggressive all the time Like there is no like levels of aggression like he's just constantly ready to fight just all the time So I'm gonna get him out. I don't think it's gonna change or help or hurt his aggression at all He just is but I do have my rag because this is literally the only way that I can get him out and is by wrapping him in this to like show him to you guys and he'll like grab it and like shake it around. Um, but if you guys have an aggressive lizard at home like a crusty gecko or something, I do recommend the rag method personally unless you have like a really good glove or something. But I find that gloves are hard to like get the actual animal and like hold them enough, you know, without like squeezing them or something. This makes it really easy and I don't have to hold him tight or anything like that. Just enough to wrap him in here and let him attack it and shake it while I show him to you guys so I'm gonna get Bodhi out and show him to you now wish me luck I got him okay so I know he probably looks kind of crazy tucked in like a baby in a little blanket um, but do not let his cute little looks fool you he is definitely a little alligator um, but I basically just have him wrapped in this little towel you can see his little booty there surprisingly he did not attack the towel as I was getting him out but I feel like it's possibly coming so I definitely kept my fingers at a distance while I got him out but he is so cute but he is so dangerous so don't let his cute looks fool you He's doing really good other than the aggression and obviously with handling I have to wrap him up in this because he will bite and then like tear and kind of shake his head like an alligator would. It's funny when I got him I named him Bodie Gator but just like a poke because I was going to name him Gator because he looks like an alligator so I just always called him Bodie Gator and he has lived up to that name I tell you. He's doing really good. I'm not holding him tight or anything like that. I can kind of just, you know, hold him very loosely and he won't try and get away or anything. Usually he's attacking the cloth by now and like shaking it. So that could happen. Just be warned. He's being good and he's being pretty chill at the moment. Definitely keeping the hands and the fingers away because I don't want him lunging and then flying at my hands. But so many people have messaged me and told me that their male crested geckos have done the same thing and it's crazy how many people have this happen with their males and I had never heard of this. I didn't even know that aggressive male crested geckos was a thing whenever I got him. I had no idea. I didn't see that in my research, nothing. So it was not something that I ever came across or heard of or anything. It was definitely a surprise seeing how aggressive he's been and how aggressive he has remained and how it hasn't gone away or gotten any better or anything. But I am glad that I can still manage to get him out. I'm not scared of him or anything. Obviously, I don't want to be bit because he does draw blood. He has like teeny tiny little bitty razor sharp teeth and they're super small like come on now they're tiny it ain't gonna kill you but I mean he would try but it still hurts it still can draw blood and it will definitely leave a mark isn't that right buddy I love holding him and I miss the days of being able to like hold him on my hand and let him crawl around on the couch and rub him but those days are definitely long gone I'll get a close-up of him for you guys so you can see his little face because I know you guys miss him So cute. Do you see the little teeth? <laughs> He's so cute. But yeah, other than the aggressiveness, that doesn't seem to want to go away. He's doing really good. I know just sitting here and holding him like this, he doesn't look aggressive or seem aggressive. But if he could get close to my finger, I promise you he would take it off. But that's okay. At least I can get him out and hold him for tank cleanings and showing you guys and stuff. Which it is rare that I get him out. Like I haven't had him out in quite a while. Not since the last tank clean, honestly. But I am glad that I can get him out in some capacity, you know, for tank cleans or emergencies or anything like that. Or just showing you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and Bodhi says thank you for watching. I'm gonna go put Bodhi back, but thank you to the person on Instagram who suggested that I do this update on him and who wanted to see him. I hope that you enjoyed it as well. We will see you guys in the next video. Be kind, bye.